at Tokyo Dome City, which is where the Tokyo Dome is, and we're here to see some baseball. To get out here, we started from Akihabara. Um, that's where we're staying. Uh, it was a short two stops to Shudabashi Station, which is on the Chuo Sobu line. Uh, it's the JB or the yellow line. Um, our cards worked on it. I think the JR Rail Pass will work on it too, because on the JR as well. Um, we're here to see the Yomuri Giants, and we bought our tickets online from the official website. Um, I was looking up at how to get the tickets, um, and this place was saying that you have to go through an agency or something, but you really don't. So if you're looking up information on how to get the tickets, uh, just go on the official website. It's all in English. It was really easy to get. Uh, you don't need to be a resident or anything. You just have to put a phone number in. It didn't have to be a Japanese phone number. Um, our tickets, you have two options to select the tickets. Um, you can print them out or you can um, pick them up from here. So you pay from online and you can pick them up from here, which we're gonna do go do now. Outside of gate 22, uh, there are ticket kiosks and when you pick up your tickets, you get them from over here. So you have to go up to these machines. I think you use your reference number to get your tickets out. But it's by gate 22 and it's basically as soon as you come in, really. It's really, really easy to see it. We're getting some food at Tokyo Dome City. Um, you can bring food into the game, so it's probably better to get it. Heard the food's quite expensive in there, and most people actually just get their food from um, before they go in. So we get some food and bring it in, and we're going to check out what options there are. There's a convenience store here. Seems to be a food court. Um, I don't know. We'll just check out the options. These are all the things that we got. We got plenty of drinks because you can bring your own drinks in and I mean alcohol drinks and we got some bento and some fried chicken and some little snacks should be good okay so we're heating up our food before the game in these microwaves at the convenience store and if you look they have a little number on it five and it matches up with the microwave and you put it in you just press the button that corresponds to the number on the thing and it heats it up for you I'm gonna get this towel thingy. We need some merch for the game, definitely. Oh God, you know how we're obsessed with gacha? They have gacha merch outside the stadium, and we have to get something. But we're trying to figure out what they are. I think these are. You think the towels? Oh. We got a random player's name. <laughs> Okay, we made it into the stadium. Backtrack's really cool here. They just sort of check your bags. You can bring beer in and cans, but they put your canned beer into another bag. And then when you get in, you have to pour it into a cup, which the lady helped me do because I, my hands are so full. And then we also got a free giveaway. This is a legit good quality jersey thing. It's got buttons and everything. Yeah, we got a free giveaway, free shirt. And what else? What else did you get? They gave you things when you came in. Yeah, it's a, a random bag of stuff. I don't know what it is. I think it's rubbish. Yeah. <laughs> cool. Let's go find our seats. Oh, it's hot in here. So we've been walking around for about 15 minutes now, trying to find out where we're sitting. And three staff members have tried to tell us. The ticket's really confusing. Um, apparently, our ticket's on the second floor, but it told us to enter on the fourth floor. So we're really confused. But at least we're seeing the stadium a little bit. Alright, so we finally found our seats. The tickets are really confusing. We thought we had to go to gate 40, but it was actually gate 23. It was aisle 40, B42, blah, 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 blah. So we finally found our seats, so after asking about 10 people, they eventually got us here. And these are our seats. Pretty good seats. And this is Tokyo Dome. It's completely undercover. So you can enjoy it, you know, in any weather, hot, cold, rain. These are pretty good seats. These seats cost us um, 4,500 yen. And I think it's pretty good value here. And this is our Japanese baseball food, I guess. Like I said, there was plenty of food in here. Probably about twice the price of what you pay outside. And you can bring it in anything you want, like bring in beer, uh, food, snacks, 
so good you can bring it all in which is really awesome it's just kind of really unique eating like a little bento box with chopsticks inside a baseball stadium huge contrast to our american baseball experience if you haven't seen that video check it out yeah, and you can sort of compare the difference between the two baseballs You can see these girls walking everywhere. Uh, they sell snacks and drinks and that. You can get beer. A lot of them carrying like literally looks like kegs of beer on their back. If you look, and they just like pour it for you out of the thing into like a cup. Looks like really hard work. Cause they're sweating everywhere. But I'm gonna have to get a beer later. I think help them lighten their load a little bit.